Welcome everyone. In this YouTube video, we will explore the effects of different batch sizes on stable diffusion training and low array training. We will present the results of our experiments, which compare the performance of the models trained with different batch sizes, and provide insights on how to choose the optimal batch size for your specific use case. Don't forget to watch until the end of the video to fully understand the impact of different batch sizes on stable diffusion and low array training. Before we dive into today's topic, we want to take a moment to ask you to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button below. Are you ready? So, let's dive right into part 2. We will try different training batch size. If you have not watched part 1, you can find the video link in the top right corner. Part 1 tried to use different base models for training. Same as part 1, we will use the virtual woman dataset for training. There are 12 close-up images, 5 half-body shots, and 3 full-body shots. We have 20 training images in total. In today's experiment, we will test 4 different sets of parameters, version 1 to version 4. Version 1 will use batch size 2. Version 2 will use batch size 4. Version 3 will use batch size 8. Version 4 will use batch size 16. The other training parameters are as follows. The base model is realistic vision. This is the size plot for version 1. The training batch size 2. Each row shows the results of images after each epoch. Each column shows the results of images using different weights. This is actually the same as version 1 in the previous part 1 experiment. We can see that after the first epoch, using weight 0 0.1, the woman does not look like the target. But it started to look like the target with a weight 1.0. The saturation is high. After several epochs, the woman looks more and more like the target. But after 10 epochs, the weight 1.0 results start to not look like the target. And the saturation is so high, it should be overfitted. We need to choose some smaller weights to get better results. As we talked about before, the image on the right with high awaiting looks very saturated. This is the results using batch size 4 for training. The plot looks brighter than the version 1. This is the size plot for version 2. As we zoom in, We can see that after one epoch, the result does not look very much like the target. But the saturation is not that bad. After 10 epochs, at weight 1.0, the results are not as bad as version 1. The saturation is fine, and the results still look like the target. If we choose the weightings between 0.6 and 0.7, the results are very good. So we see that when using batch size 4, the results in the right are less saturated. If you're finding this video informative and helpful, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button below. By subscribing, you'll stay updated on our latest videos, and by liking, you'll help us reach a wider audience and provide more valuable content in the future. So, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. This is the result using batch size 8 for training. It looks more bright than version 2. This is the size plot for version 3. We find that even after Epoch 1 using weight 1.0, the low array still does not learn the target face. After 2 Epochs, it started to learn the target. After 10 Epochs at weight 1.0, the saturation is not that bad, it's acceptable. If we choose the lower weightings, the results are good. 
So we see that when using batch size 8, the results on the right are less saturated in version 2. Finally, we look at the results using batch size 16. We find that it takes more time to train the low RA. This time the low RA learned the target face after Epoch 4. You need higher weighting to get the target. The saturation is not bad of course because it is not well trained yet. After 10 epochs, the results look close to the target. So we see that when using batch size 16, the results on the right are less saturated than version 3. But we need more epochs to train the low RA. Now we are going to see more images with all those versions. We choose the model after Epoch 9 and use weight 0.4 for testing. The text to image checkpoint is realistic vision. Each row is using different seeds. Each column is using a different version. Batch size 2. Batch size 4. Batch size 8. Batch size 16. All images look very good. Let's see one more set of images. Same here. Version 1 look very similar to version 4. But the images in version 4 are brighter than in version 1. Let's see one more set of images. Sometimes the images in version 2 and version 3 do not look similar. However, version 1 still looks very similar to version 4. But the images in version 4 are still brighter than in version 1. For the observation, we can see that when batch size increase, the results of text images in higher weight becoming less saturated. But we need more epochs to train the low RA in. In conclusion, I will choose as high as my graphic card support. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about stable diffusion and low RA training, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. I will put up the other experiments soon. You can also find all the models and images in my Patreon account. The link can be found in the description. Thank you and see you in the next video.